Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. On behalf of all of my colleagues in Being Global, may we express our own very warm and sincere welcome to you, our special guests, on this very special evening, the ninth annual Teachers Achievement Awards. Well, over the past week, it's been my pleasure to enjoy my first visit to India. And it's been a really exciting experience to see, to touch, and to feel all those things about which in the past I had merely read and heard about this extraordinary country. And it does seem to me that incredible India is a combination on the one hand of great levels of beauty, creativity and kindness, and on the other, a sheer depth and power of demography, economics and intellectual property. And it's in the combination of these two forces that I, along with so many others, see an unbridled and very bright future for India. Indeed, as a father, I see a country which, in the coming generations, will occupy an increasing role in the lives of my three young children as they grow up. And as a businessman, I see a country without equal in the world in terms of its investment potential and a market in which I want my business to invest more deeply. Testament to the strength of this country is its recent economic performance, where, as many countries are now struggling to come out of recession, India maintained its growth in the past couple of years a testament to its deep and very strong cultural and financial foundations. Now at Beam Global, achievement has been the driving force which has enabled us to become the world's fourth largest spirits company. Fitting indeed as tonight we sit here in the financial capital of the world's fourth largest global economy. Now our leadership position does bring with it a great sense of responsibility and corporate responsibility to our communities in which we are privileged to live and work. We are so proud to be a part of this nation and we are deeply committed to playing our part in its future growth. And I commit on behalf of my team our deep and compassionate commitment to that cause. For us, the Teachers Awards are a celebration of the sheer breadth and depth of talent which is at the heart of the Indian economy and the Indian culture. It is something with which we take great pride each year to go out and find those very great achievers and to reward their excellence and to draw them from an extraordinary population of 1.1 billion people. This really is a celebration tonight of achievement which lies at the heart of this great and wonderful country and its great and wonderful future. Let me conclude by saying thank you to three very important groups of people. Firstly, our gratitude goes out to our board and our jury, each of them in their own way individual achievers, but also to the countless other people that will make tonight such a great success. We have been overwhelmed once again this year by the response to the awards that have come from every corner. My second thanks goes to our team here in Beam Global India. It was your vision that nine years ago decided to set up these awards, and since then it's been your creativity and your hard work that have made them the entity respected across India that they are today. I congratulate and thank you all for that. And finally, and most importantly, we must say thank you to all of our nominees. We are truly humbled by your accomplishment. But more than that, we thank you for inspiring us, inspiring us to aim higher and to try harder so that we too may know what it means to achieve and gain the rewards that go with it. So tonight, is really a celebration of the spirit of achievement. I wish you all a wonderful and very enjoyable evening. Thank you.